Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a gate 2023 EC question in which we have to find the voltage gain V output by V in in a multiple open base circuitry. So the, here three open base circuitry are there. Say this one is open number one, open number two, and open number three. So first of all, we have to identify which configuration is it. Okay. So it is very simple to identify if we know the basic concept of open. This first open base circuitry is nothing but simply our this open is our inverting inverting amplifier amplifier okay so I am just drawing that am amplifier this one is nothing but simply our is the first configuration okay for the timing i'm writing open number one and this one is r2 r1 and we are giving input at this one and if we take output for example i am writing this as a v output so the output expression will be v output equals to minus r2 by r1 into v in okay or sometimes it is r2 or rf r2 by r1 okay so this one is the expression for the inverting inverting amplifier okay so this one is a inverting one and this one is our non inverting amplifier so i am writing this is a non inverting amplifier before solve in this problem we have to know means what should be the output at this point okay what should be the output at this point so for example i am saying this for the java input output say sorry output v1 and for this one the output is our v2 okay so now this one is a non-inverting amplifier so one non-inverting amplifier output expression we have to know so i am just drawing the circuit for this one plus we are giving V in okay. well, this one is important we have to know the say this one is our R1 and R2 or anything we can write so in this case V output by V in directly we can write 1 plus RF by R1 and this one is for the non inverting amplifier. So this one is important means we will use this concept means for the inverting of op amp the value will be minus R2 by R1 and for the non inverting amplifier the expression will be this. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we can easily find the value of V1 and V2 and the last op-m that is our op-m number 3. Okay. So make it minus. Okay. This one is your op-m number 2. Okay. Now the last one, the op-m number 3 is our summing amplifier. So I am writing here. After that, the question will be very easy summing amplifier okay so in this case summing amplifier this one is plus one This one is V output and for the timing I am saying this one is V1 and V2 and this may be R3, R3 and R4. So this, this one is our inverting. So V output equals to minus R4 by R3 
into b1 superposition principle we can use means if this one is a if you are between is 0 then minus r4 by r3 into b1 for the other output again we take this b1 0 so minus r4 by r3 into b2 so this one is the final result this one is just the basic okay this one is some basic formula that we have to know so by using this concept we can solve this problem very easily okay so this one is nothing but simply our summing amplifier this one is our summing amplifier so now we can easily find the value of v1 so i am writing the value of v1 here so v1 equals to minus r2 by r1 into v in okay the expression for v1 is minus r2 by r1 into v in next we can say the value of v2 will be this way non inverting amplifier so 1 plus r2 by r1 into v in say equation number 1 equation number 2 now we know the value of v1 v2 so v output expression for this third one v output can be or from directly from this equation minus r4 by r3 into v1 so minus r4 by r3 into v1 so v1 is our minus r2 by r1 into v in minus then r4 by r3 into v2 so v2 is our 1 plus r2 by r1 simple cascading these two are just the inverting so summing amplifier so directly into v in now we have to solve this one v1 v2 we are using this formula okay we are using this formula this formula okay for the summing amplifier now one can easily write v output equals to after multiplying one can write r2 r4 r1 <coughs> into v in minus r4 by r3 v in then minus r2 r4 simple calculation r1 r3 into v in so this one and this one will be same so it should be cancelled out so the final expression will be v r minus r4 or simply we can write v output because we have to find v output by v in minus r4 by r3 so the basic thing is that we have to know the output function for the summing amplifier for the non inverting amplifier and then we can in this one we are just putting this value summing amplifier v1 v2 we have already calculated v1 v2 then after putting the value of v1 this one is our v1 and this should be our v2 okay once again i am writing this one is our v1 and this one is our v2 minus alpha okay this one is our v2 and this one is v1 okay so after fi finding we will get this expression okay so again v output by v in minus r4 by r3 so this will be very simple one but we have to know the some basic concept so the final answer will be option number a this is all about this question so please go through the basic one and find the solution by using the concept of summing amplifier inverting and non-verting amplifier so thank you for watching this video